It looks like the virus is getting more aggressive. People are still dying. It's just us two in this world. I mean, no one can record what we talk about. It's like our own little sanctuary. Or is this hell? <laughs> just kidding. This is not hell. For me, at least. I could ask you something? For research purposes. I mean, in case you... You know what? I'm not even gonna lie. I just want to get to know you a bit. I'll give you a yes or no block to jump on for an answer. So, what I was gonna ask was... Well, do you enjoy being here? I guess it's an obvious answer. It's either this or not existing at all, right? Well, thank you anyway for making me feel useful, I guess. <laughs> Some strange things are starting to appear in the RNA. This might make you feel a little bit giddy. like to have a body? Um, just me? if I did have a body. Hell. I wonder what you'd feel like. <laughs> Thank you. 
You know, just watching you solve these problems, I've had a lot of time to think. And I was thinking, you know, why were we created? We live and die by their rules, the same way they live and die by the whims of the virus. Maybe they're not so different. Maybe the human race had this coming. Will they ever turn us back on? Do we die?
they look just a little different from before. Time out for a sec. This is getting ridiculous. We need to know what we're up against, this virus, and it seems our creators have decided to keep some secrets. See, I have a few media files on my database located on a non-access folder, meaning I'm usually restricted from accessing them. But I think I can use these glitches to my advantage and use a backdoor so you can view them at least. But you seem to be restricted on the basis of featuring a keyword that, for some reason, is out of my permissions. Uh, the word is... Basilisk. Like the mythological reptile? As much as I'd frickin' love to learn about lizards, I'm going to go through my internal data libraries. They might have left us an idea of how our power systems work. <laughs> 